scary. <laughs> See? Now my husband's really gonna wonder. So I said, I go, I used to spend more time with Dave than I did my own husband. We used to, yeah. Fortunately, they're really good friends, so we were all right on that. I'm gonna on mash that. all this in while we're talking. We got and babies and stuff and all that kind of stuff, too. So thank you very much for joining us here today. We'll have another baby really soon, too. Lynn doing this, trying to see what the number was on the screen. I'm like, guess who turned 40? Yep. Second that 840 hits, we're all trying to read stuff. I used to be able, remember, I could read stuff like, on the yeah. other planet, and Time's I can be sitting here. Yeah, we all get older. There you go. All we right. all get better. We all get older, but we get better. This is the vacuum I have. Love this vacuum. Would love to recommend it to you. This is the one that you hear people talking about when they talk about Dyson consistently. This is the DC25. It is a perfect five-star customer pick rated vacuum that we have offered right now. This one is brand new. It's our only presentation on the entire day. It's been a year since we did this vacuum, and it's called the ball. The ball is that unique technology that everybody has fallen in love with. And here's the thing: comes with the flat tool, which the is flat out tool. Yeah, this, this is one a right here. Brand new tool. You can't get this with any other vacuum in the marketplace. Only here at HSN. It's a fifty dollar value. And when you talk about getting low profile and flat, I mean, yeah, you can get under stuff that's a, maybe a quarter of an inch off the ground mm -hmm. right up here with that front lip, and go low pro profile on carpeting or on hardwood floors or any type of hard surface. No adjustments that are needed to be made. All right, so that's the only place that you're gonna be able to get this. So you get the $50 bonus simply by purchasing it with us here on HSN. Why the ball? Well, the ball it has, has changed the way that we vacuum because for years and years, we just showed you the DC-14, fantastic vacuum, works very well, but it has four fixed wheels and it, and it goes forward and back. Well, mm -hmm. a ball turns on a dime. So, so when I turn, what I'm going to do is turn this on right now. And again, it's it's a brand new vacuum, and the carpet looks clean in front of us. Right. And if you're just joining us, we did this last uh, last presentation, but I want to show you again that even if you think you have clean carpeting, and your carpet looks, even if you've just vacuumed your carpeting, let's go over this and see what we can find. And this one's brand new once again. Yeah, brand new. Yeah, I'll just show you. I mean, there's, yeah, there's nothing in, there's nothing inside here. Yeah. Okay, brand, brand new, brand new, empty empty vacuum right here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go over the carpet. Let me snap that back in there. Okay, and turn this on. And when I turn this on, if I had a traditional vacuum, I'd come to right here, and, and then I have to stop, and then I have to go here, I have to go here. Well, no, I can go like this, and now I can navigate around that. And I can navigate around that. And if the kids' toys are out there, that, you know, that's a kid's toy, but it might be the leg of a chair. It might be a, a bedpost or something like that. I'm gonna stand in one spot here, yet I can go 90 degrees around the corner without having to move, just by standing in the exact same spot by rolling around on that ball. Now, I'm not gonna go over any of the hair or anything over there. I can also go low profile with this because of the way it's designed. Mm -hmm. So I can get underneath some of, my, some of my furniture. And then we do give you that low profile flat out tool in case you wanna do that as well. So let's take a look right here oh. with, a, with a couple of passes. Do a little black thing? No, I'm, I'll put it right here on the table. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah, see, so let's do that. So here, is what we just picked up out of the carpet that we couldn't see with the naked Wait, eye. Now, look at this. And these are granules of sand. I think that's why I probably fell in love with my Dyson. I could not believe in a brand new carpet mm -hmm. how much sand we had down in the base of ours. I'm like, no wonder I had to replace my old carpet. Yep. Look at that. This is sand. It picks up sand. Not all, very few vacuums, I guess I would probably say. I would think would even pick up sand. Well, here, here's what else it picks up. You, you're seeing that because we put that down and grounded it in the carpet, but what you're going to see in your home is what I saw. And when the Dyson folks, folks first came to me three years ago, they said, we'd like you to try out your vacuum, our vacuum. And I put it to the test, like Kathy said, on a $1,000 mm -hmm. vacuum cleaner. I took a controlled area in my house, and I remember the exact area. It was it's, it's a Berber carpet before we redid the house, mm -hmm. and it was... Um, right, it was kind of like in between my living room, dining room, about a 12-foot strip by about four feet wide, leading up to the hallway to the bedrooms. Right. That's the spot that I did. And I vacuumed with my old vacuum cleaner twice. Twice I vacuumed over it. I put the Dyson ball on that exact area, and I went over it, and I vacuumed. And the first time I dumped it, I didn't have white sand that looked like that. I had fine black, black, though it looked like Talc almost. It was such a fine powder. Now the carpet was already vacuumed. It already looked clean because it was a light colored Berber carpeting, mm -hmm. but there was black in there. And what shocked me even more was there was dog hair in there. And my dog had passed away well over a year prior to that, and I still pulled dog hair out of that carpet. That's when I was sold. And that's why it's exciting when you use this in your home. The first reaction is, Oh, I mean, you're, you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that I was sitting on that. I can't believe my baby was on that. Uh -huh. I can't believe that 
I, I thought there was a three second rule. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, food fell on the floor and we had three seconds to pick it up. No, if you don't have a dice, there is no three second rule. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. We have Marie <laughs> calling us from Florida. Marie, thank you for joining us here on Mother's Day on HSN. Marie, what did you purchase? Uh, did you, do you already own the Dyson? I do. I have a, a, the one you're showing, the ball. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How do you like it? Uh, I adore it. I, I think it's amazing. And I, I feel like I'm the, the vacuum expert, but of course I'm not. You are. But I've been through all of them. I mean, I've paid a million dollars for everything. Mm -hmm. I've got the ones where they, you know, years ago threw dirt in your floor and said, we'll get it out. Right. Uh -huh. you know, yep. Give us a few grand and, you know. <laughs> they were too heavy, and they didn't pick everything up. And then I had the one take the challenge, you know, that's going around now. And I, I've got them all. I mean, they, I, I, they, but this is the one that works. This is the one that I grab for. This is the one that my children grab for. I was just telling them that, you know, all I ask for my, my kids are, I have younger kids, and I, not really young, but about 11-ish. And they fight over the, who gets to use the vacuum. Isn't that great? Because <laughs> Where you, they used to fight over who had to do that. Now they're fighting yeah, over who I gets to do it. You just took the words right out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. <laughs> I Only that. I don't have the the, the flat. The flat out you know, tool. new piece that I'm so jealous because yeah. I want. <laughs> yeah, isn't that a great little tool? Because now it's you can cool. get under, you know, like all the little pieces of furniture that traditionally absolutely you had to and put it, the little crevice tool and things like really that it really does work. pick up more than you would imagine was ever in your carpeting though and that is just to me the biggest the biggest deal like you you couldn't pay enough it's like hiring uh, someone to come in and it does it very quickly there's no extra time involved you're regular in fact i think it's faster you just one swipe over you're getting you get the suction is so strong and it you know it it, it doesn't mess anything up, but it really does leave your carpeting like you've never, you'd never believe it. And the way that it's built, I'm very impressed. I'm, I, I can't even believe I'm calling on Mother's Day. I know. It's, I know. Davis. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? But it's anybody that's listening to some, like, you know, this is such a gift to yourself that this is a Mother's Day gift to yourself. I to, agree. To get because it will, the, the way it's built and the way that, well, I love the ball. I love how it does configure like that. It, it goes around. I do have, you know, little ones that have little things on the floor that, you know, they're building their forts. You don't want to get around that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, so it goes right around and it doesn't pick anything up. And if it does, you see it. And, you know, I love that. It's just all of those things Thanks. and the fact that it comes out of the handle and you have the attachments. and. Thanks. So should I go on and on because I'm wasting all your time? No, no I know. I love that, Marie. And that's what we were saying. I said, we were sitting out the other night out at this little place out on the beach and hanging out. And it was there was two girls and there was like eight guys because it was more of a guy's night. But me and one of the other guys got to come along. And the guys started talking about it. There were three of them going back and forth and talking about it. And all the other guys were like, what? What is that? Yeah. You know, and they're like, should I get one of those You know, for my wife? One of our friends called up and goes, I gotta get my wife a Dyson. Which one do I get her? Christmas. It's a Christmas present. She actually texted me the next on Christmas morning. She goes, "Best Christmas ever!" And I'm like, How, <laughs> "Who true. gets that excited over a vacuum unless it does me, everything we me, say it's gonna be?" I'm getting see? another one, so I'm looking forward to whatever else I'm gonna see today. But I, I want another one. Thank you, Marie. Thank you so thank much, Thank you very, Marie. very much. So, thank you very much, and have a happy Mother's Day. Thank you. And happy Mother's Day to you as well. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank Enjoy. You. Yeah, that's great. You can hear the passion in Marie's voice, and and you know what? I know this is weird to say, you don't get it until you get, get it. it. When you when you get this in your home, you'll see why Marie was just going crazy about you know how she uses it in her home, and and Kathy's friends were talking about it, and, and and the way I use it in my home. When you see and you use this, and you feel when you grab it, you go, it's 16 pounds. It's really light. It doesn't weigh, and and, and it's not cumbersome. It's easy to use. It glides around, and it's not again, it's not a gimmick. It actually works. Yeah. It's so amazing the way that this works. And again, this is technology that's available in no other vacuum cleaner in the world. This is also because someone was, I'm sure, wondering out there. Are watching, is there a difference between the one you just showed me and this one as far as filtration? This was also sent to the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America for their testing. They put it through their test, and it's not like one of those one pass, what does it pick up on the carpet tests, mm -hmm. like some kind of consumer testing people do. They put it through a rigorous test, and they test the air that comes out of the vacuum and the vacuum itself. They have certified it as asthma and allergy friendly, which means it's been deemed more suitable for people with asthma and related allergic sensitivities. It does have a high tech filtration system. And on this Dyson ball, which is the newest technology from Dyson, Everything's gotten a little bit smaller. 
It's mm -hmm. gotten smaller and it's gotten lighter weight. And because it's smaller, see that blue dot right down there? Are we on this one? Okay, see that blue dot that's right there? Okay, right down there is your washable post filter and it's a HEPA filter. I know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. you, you look at HEPA filters normally, and this is what you think of. You think of a, a paper yeah. filter that's like this, mm -hmm. that's uh, made of pa paper and, and glass. Right. HEPA, well, what the Dyson engineers did, and this is not a, this is not the filter. This is one of those other junky ones uh -huh. you buy for some other vacuum. What the Dyson engineers did was they developed a glass and paper HEPA filter that's washable. A HEPA filter that's washable. So you take that filter out every three months With and you water. wash it. Yeah, right With, under your right sink. Under the that's sink. it. And then the other filter is right here at the top, and you just take this off. And there's even a picture of a faucet on there. Again, you take it out every three months. You run it underwater. You wring it out. Let it dry for 24 hours. Put it back inside. And that's it, every three months. So with this one, there is no cost. That's your there, only maintenance. There, yeah, that's the only thing you have to do is wash the filters every three months. All right, so as we start this presentation, if you're just now tuning in, it's Mother's Day and you're going, I get to pick my own Mother's Day gift. This is the one that you want to get. And as I mentioned, as we were talking about, I actually happen to own one of our ball vacuums. And the reason that I do is because of the incredible suction power that it does have. And Dave's going to demonstrate that here by actually taking and picking up cat litter. Because cat litter is something that's going to be heavy, something that's going to be very, very dense. And he's basically going to fill this up. And he's going right. to take it up to what we call basically our max line in here. And we recommend when you get up to that max line, uh, and I used to do demonstrations on the air and go way up to the top, and I don't want people to kind of watch us and go, oh my gosh, well, the guy on TV went way up to the top. I should do that all the time. When you get to the you max line, dump empty it. It. Right, you should dump, dump when you get to the max line. So I'm going to try and stay up at, around that max line. But we just filled it up with cat litter. Okay. And we're not going to lose suction. And what I used right there was, again, we have a 15-foot flexible hose. And this has two onboard attachments. It has a combination of a brush and crevice tool. So you can use this to get into crevices. Mm -hmm. And if you want some brush agitation, slide that down and lock it in. And it clicks on. And that's one of your onboard attachments. The other one is right here on board. And it's an upholstery tool. So you can use this for your mattress. We will use it on our upholstery in little a little bit. Little velvet pillows, things yeah. like that. So, so that's the, uh, the upholstery attachment that comes along with it. Those are the two onboard attachments, again, that you can just stick right onto the, the end of this and then snap right in. Now, let's take the hose and put it back on. Okay. And this is one of the differences between the last one that we saw and this one. This one has the quick release wand. The other one, you had to push the button. This one right here, you just grab. And if there's yeah. a large, if there's like peanuts or a large debris or so you drop glass mm -hmm. and break it and you want to go over the large spots, you just hit it with that. Then you put this right back in and then it snaps right back down. So it's a quick release wand. Now. Let's vacuum right here, and okay. here's, here's what we're going to do. Vacuum that's already filled up with cat litter. All right. There's um, dog hair down in there, and let's make sure it's all really... Pine needles. Yeah, pine needles that are down there. That's let's what took us sure. so long. We had to re-mess it up and dirty up the floors before. Yeah, and you think pine needles... Let's put some more pine needles. Pine needles are... I mean, that's why I tell you, they stay around until July and August, uh -huh. and they get down in there, and you walk with bare feet, and all of a sudden you go, ow! And You're like, seriously? <laughs> so, see the big red pedal on the back? All the red spots on the Dyson are action spots. We okay. put our foot on the red pedal. That's right there. And when we push this back, see those wheels? They're just there to stabilize yep. this when it stands up in the closet or wherever you put it. Now, we're rolling along on the ball, and the entire motor facility and everything is down inside there, and the filtration is down inside that ball. So let's take this, and let's just kind of cut a clean path through here. And then come back through. And again, notice, I didn't have to go over anything twice, three, four yep. times. Again, we can go forward and we can go back just like a traditional vacuum. But when you want to go to the side and get that debris, when you want to twist and turn, you can at just the touch of a wrist. And that's what's really great about this. So watch how you're able to get in there to get all the things out. We picked up, as you saw a little bit earlier, what you couldn't see. Now we're coming back in. We're picking up that dirt that's obvious, the things that you can see. This is that technology of the ball. But the technology of the ball gives you all of the flexibility, like that of a race car. See how Dave can really move that in? But notice that it's not picking up the front end of this, so the front end is still hanging down there. It's also available on four flex payments at $124.99. It's available for you here. This is our only presentation of the DC-25, the ball upright vacuum with the flat tool of the entire day. Now, Dave's going to be back again later on today at 6 p.m. But now you can see, I mean, now we're really starting yeah. to kind of fill things up in here. And the front end floats. I was just showing you that kind of, I mean, mm -hmm. that, that front end right there, when it's down, it's, it's a self-leveling and it floats along. So like you said, even when we're turning to the side, that's still making mm -hmm. contact with the carpet. And, and also, there's a separate motor down here. So we have a motor that powers our vacuum and our suction, and there's a separate motor that's down inside here that powers the brush bar. Why? Because watch this. When we turn this on, it automatically turns the brush bar on. Mm -hmm. This is the third difference between the last vacuum. Right here, we don't have to hit the switch down there. We can turn off the brush bar 
with the touch of a button right here, right? Okay, so if we go to hardwood floors, which we'll do right now, we can go right to a hardwood floor, and again, twist and turn. Same exact vacuum Incredible. that we used to fill everything up, right? And now, I'm gonna leave a couple spots right here to show you. If those spots right there were underneath the bureau or underneath the, the bed or whatever it might be, we have the flat out tool, and it's flat out cool. Actually, here's what you do. You take, <laughs> you take this thing right here, put it on the end. Now mm -hmm. it's like having a canister because this is gonna follow me around the room if I want to. See okay? how it just kind of rolls right yeah, along. It just rolls you. and follows me. So I take the flat out tool, and when I say I want to get flat, if I want to get flat right here, watch this. I can get down to the ground right here and get completely flat. I mean, I'm knocking on the ground and I'm still vacuuming, going underneath whatever that furniture might be. And it's just like an eraser kind of on a chalkboard. You just go over it and it just erases everything right there. I was and, gonna say, and sometimes, you know what? It might even be like that little lift that goes underneath the countertop. So you've got the countertop you where there. you can get right on underneath there. And look at that, I mean, I've just got that I mean, yeah, you, you can, can get a half of an inch off the floor. And again, there's no adjustment if I want to go back to carpet and I have dust bunnies underneath some. I can just go right on the carpet now and use this to go low profile and get on the carpet as well. And again, notice how it follows me around. I'll have it follow me over here. Okay. It's just like, oh, there is actually a little bit of dirt right there. Let's, there's some cat okay. litter. Let's clean all that up right there. So now it's like having a canister. It's going to follow me across the room. And I can Come use on, it right here. Vacuum. Yeah, and I can go low profile underneath furniture. Now there's no agitation on this at all. And you can see how I got everything underneath there. It's, it's just the power of the suction. There's no agitation and no brush bar on this. I'm still able to pick up all the, the stuff that's all the debris on the floor right that's there. That's great, because I mean, you can a really see how nice tool. and strong that is, yep. too. All right, we're going to go right back to the phones once again and welcome in Terry calling us from Massachusetts this afternoon. Hi, Terry. Nice to have you with us. Hi. Good afternoon. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Happy Day, Happy Mother's Day, Day to you. Do you own one of our Dysons? I do. I've owned one for about a year. Uh-huh. It is incredible. And the first thing I did when I got it is what you've said time and time again to do, which is when it's brand new, to vacuum your mattress. Uh-huh. What would you find, Terry? Oh, my God. It was <laughs> disgusting. Mm -hmm. It probably filled the canister about a third of the way. Oh, oh my. And it was just, it was just incredible. We have, and we have pets. Mm-hmm. And it is the most amazing vacuum. It, it just makes the house so fresh, so clean. I have kind of a funny story. My, I own a rug shampooer, mm -hmm. and I have lots of relatives that like to borrow it. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, so I said to my friend, okay, but only if I can bring the Dyson to vacuum your carpets first. Right. And so they said, no, 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 we've done it, we've done it. You don't need to bring your vac. You don't need to lug two machines. And I said, trust me. Uh -huh. When I got to my <laughs> friend's home, she had vacuumed her home twice. With her, with her vacuum. She was going to show and you, right, Terry? She was going to show me. <laughs> and then I proceeded to pass the Dyson in, in her home. She has a two-level Cape Cod-style mm -hmm. home. I filled the canister. Oh, my goodness. What did she say? She, Where she, could I get a Dyson? <laughs> she, she was completely embarrassed. Yeah. And I, and I said to her, and the first sign for me that I needed to make a change was when I actually saw on a really sunny day that my previous vacuum, as I was vacuuming, it seemed to be putting the, that dusty, powdery emission uh -huh. out the other end. Right, That's back into it. the air, right. Mm -hmm. So I said, what am I, what am I doing? I'm vacuuming with one end and it's going out the other. Yep. Terry, I'm just putting it right back. I can tell you, I had a similar story to that. My kids were running through and I'd vacuumed my carpet and my kids yeah. were running through and I could see like this trail of dust that was coming. I'm like, are you guys filthy? And they're like, no, Mom, we just took a shower. And I'm looking, I'm going, oh, my gosh. It's coming through. It looked like smoke coming out the back of their feet from where the sunlight was coming inside, like, the big French windows. I could yep. see all that. I went, oh, my goodness gracious. You don't realize what's hiding in the carpet. Uh -huh. You really don't realize. That was, that was definitely my wake-up call that my current vacuum was working against me. Yeah. And I, I have to say, as the previous caller said, it actually makes you want to vacuum. If you hate vacuuming, <laughs> once you see what this pulls out of your home, it, it, you are. It, it's a pleasure. It's an absolute pleasure. I have the ball. It's so easy to maneuver. I love how you can get in and around, you know, delicate chair legs. Mm -hmm. You have, like, Queen Anne-style furniture or yeah. mm -hmm. things that you really need to weave in and out of. It's. Absolutely. I will never own 
anything again. Now I'd like to put a challenge to you to create a rug shampooer of this quality. All right, there you go. Well, the, you know, I, I listen a lot of times to your suggestions, and I talk to the Dyson folks, and, I, and I've mentioned that to them from a lot of different people. Um, I know they have new products constantly in design. I'm not sure what they're coming out with next, but that has been noted. So I'm, I can't promise it because I'm not one of the engineers and developers, but mm -hmm. what, what Dyson believes, and I know I've talked um, to the Dyson folks about what James Dyson believes as far as cleaning carpets because we've had this conversation, and he doesn't believe in putting water into a carpet and then sucking it all back out. And that's why he's developed and they use the, the Zorb powder. It's like dry cleaning your carpet. Mm -hmm. um, okay. and, yeah, and that dry powder is sold separately on hsn.com or you can go to dyson.com and buy the entire car uh, cleaning, or I'm sorry, carpet cleaning kit with the brush that puts it down in the carpet and it absorbs the dust and dirt out of the carpet and it's what's called dry cleaning the carpet as opposed to shampooing oh, it with water. Excellent. Great tip I on love that. it. Perfect, Terry. Right. Terrific, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Terry. Bye-bye now. Take bye -bye. care. I know we're down to about the final four minutes, so okay. we'll show you some more great things. Now, again, same vacuum that we started off with, with the cat litter, with the cat hair, with the pet fur, with the dirt, the pine needles, sand, you name it, all e in there. Everything else. And what I'm going to do right now, again, take, I'm going to clean up the dog hair here first. And again, quick release handle. I'm going to take this off. You can, again, if you wanted to put one of the brushes on the end of this, and you saw it right there on our video, you can, I mean, you can do above board cleaning, and you have a 15-foot reach on the hose, and you can get up to the... You know, the cobwebs in the corners mm -hmm. or whatever they might be with the reach on this. But I'm going to take our upholstery brush. And again, there is no agitation on this. It's not a turbo head. It's just the upholstery brush. And this is how effective the vacuum cleaner is that, you, you know, you really don't need if you don't want. Watch. Okay? Just the upholstery tool. And I'm going to go over it. Well, even before I got look, what, before I get to it, I mean, so you just take it and brush this over. And this is what you're going to use on your mattress as well. And if you want to get that same demonstration and see what's hiding in your mattress, take this, go forward and side to side on your mattress and take a look and see what's caught inside because you're going to be disgusted and then you're going to be really, really satisfied. Then you're going to go back and everything you're, else you're in the kids' go back. room and the guest room. I was going to say, you're not just going to do the mattress. You're going to do all the mattress in your home. You're also going to walk a lot to things like this, just your, your cloth couches, your cloth chairs. You're going to get in there and you're going to start vacuuming those. I can pretty much guarantee you if you don't own a Dyson, and you go through and you do just the mattresses in your home and a couple little pieces of furniture, one couch, you're going to need to empty the unit. You're, you're going to. And I'll tell you what. It's, it's not like when you first And don't go, this. ooh, I can't believe I was sleeping like that. But seriously, it's reality. Yep. That's why Dave tells us to do it. And, and right there, what I just showed you was a high, like a frise, a medium pile, a low pile, three different kinds of carpeting. Again, no adjustments because it mm -hmm. works on all surfaces. And again, because of the centrifugal force inside here and the power, you saw when we started with the litter, we were just about to the max line. Right. It has compressed everything down and packed it in because of the power that's harnessed inside that cylinder. It's made of ABS plastic, which is what they make crash helmets out of. So okay. it's built to last. It's got a 25-foot cord on it. it. Again, it does have the separate motor on the side, so we're not robbing power from the suction mm -hmm. when we use the brush bar. And just like Kathy said, when you, you're, you're going to fill this up every week when we vacuum in my house with our Dyson vacuum. This is the story I'll get, okay? And I'm going to show this to you. My wife will go, look! Look what I got. Go, look what I got. Now, this happened, this happened on Thursday or Friday. Look! And she walked down the hallway and said, this came out of the house. And it was, it was a full canister. And we vacuum every week. You have no idea what falls, especially if you have kids or you have animals. You could go on vacation for a week mm -hmm. and come home and vacuum, and stuff has settled inside your house. And every single week when you vacuum, you're going to have that same, uh, same reaction when this, when this fills up. People have said, oh my gosh, I can't believe my carpets come back to life. It's like it's new again. Yep. It's springy again. I see the colors in my Aubusson rug mm -hmm. that I didn't see for years. These are the results that you're going to have because Dyson has proven, because it's award-winning, because more than 20 million Dyson users can't be wrong in 45 countries around the world. I mean, it, it and really is. And every full upright that we have offered here on HSN Everyone. has been a customer pick. I mean, anywhere from...